Part of my evangelical effort was to try and reach the, the unsaved people, that's how I figured it out. And there were about six or seven of us, and we were all members of the Durban North Boxing Club. So we were all amateur boxers. And we were, all of us were reasonably fit. So besides playing soccer or cricket, we had this boxing fit in our hearts. And it's quite strange that we were Christians, and yet we enjoyed this boxing, similar to the guys who go to gym today, I suppose. And one of our activities, every Saturday night, we'd go down on the beachfront and we'd stand around and we'd uh, shout out because we never had any public address system and we'd t shout out about the Lord. You see, talk very loudly and people would be strolling up and down. In those days, it was quite safe and it was like a promenade and the couples and families would be walking up and down and occasionally you'd get a crowd of 10 or 12, sometimes 30, 40 people and we'd talk to them about the Lord. And this one particular night, uh, her father was down there and he, he could stir anything. And there were a whole lot of men walked, maybe as many as 12 or 14 men. And we found out afterwards they're all seamen uh, from a ship. And the old boy asked, uh, he was preaching the gospel quite effectively, uh, but he was being heckled by these seamen, which kind of aggravated us a little bit. And uh, one of us, I think it was Jeff Pettit, said to me, he said, if I knew I could get a few of those guys alone, I'd like to punch the lights out of them. And I said, man, me too. Because they were calling us mummy boys and sissies and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff and wackos and religious fanatics. And uh, we were getting hot under the collar. But the old boy now got to the stage where he invited people to give their heart to the Lord and they knelt, about a half a dozen knelt on a pavement. And he was going around praying for them. So we figured the rest who hadn't come forward, they were free game. So we suggested them, let's go behind the bushes. There, was those, there were a lot of bushes in those days in the sand dunes, you know. And we went behind there and boy, did we have a rumble there. I tell you, it was quite something. Uh, uh, and uh, we certainly got the better of them, let's put it that way. And what they did when they got back on board ship, I don't know, because some of them definitely would have had black eyes and a, some had bleeding noses. And some gave their heart to the Lord and some got beat up. And that was quite amazing to us. Uh, one or two of us, and I was one of them, I still got a scar some of my hand from one of the guy's tooth uh, where I hit him. His tooth, I uh, forget which hand it is. Oh, there it is there. Still got the mark, it's 60 odd years ago. I often look at it and think, yeah, I wonder how that guy's doing. <laughs> so the, some of our evangelism was a bit rough, you know, a bit rough. But.